Um, we've taken the bulkhead on, that was on here originally off and we're going to bring it up to uh, the three inch so that our overflow is the same size as our inflow. And to do that we have to make this hole bigger. Um, this part is a little bit uh, tricky. If we were to be doing a new hole it would be a lot more straightforward because the pilot point of our drill could go in. But since it's not, um, there's a few different techniques to try to get this hole started and we'll see if I can uh, accomplish any of them. One of them is to go backwards with the saw and sometimes with the drill and sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Got it. And just like that. So we've now made the uh, the larger hole for the, the bigger bulkhead fitting. And the way that these work is they stick right through and then it's cross-threaded so we have to spin sort of the wrong way to get these to go. And what's going to happen is that this piece is going to pull the piece that's inside out and so it'll smash on the, uh, hold on, I'll show you. So on this section there's this rubber gasket and essentially we're going to smash this rubber gasket uh, in between the liner and uh, well, and this piece, and so what that'll do is that'll create a nice sealed um, sealed fitting. And it's really important, especially on the inflow that we'll show you in a moment. Um, it's it's really important to make sure that this is tight because that's going to be the point that it would leak. The rest of the tank is all one piece, and so if it's going to leak, it's going to be at a weak spot like that. So we go by hand until we can't go by hand anymore, and then. Uh, use a tool and hammer it tight. So this is a backwater valve, sometimes called a, a flap or check valve. It's a one-way valve, so water can flow out. But critters or other things cannot come back in. So this is our overflow pipe, finished now from the stub out we showed earlier. It's going to come out into this infiltration basin. And this backwater valve is going to prevent anything from coming into our tank. This basin, once it's finished and filled with spongy mulch, should hold about 500 gallons of water. You should never underestimate the amount of water you can store in your soil. That's just a little under the amount of water that this roof area will catch in one inch of rain. Make sure your valve is going the correct way. And as always, give it a quarter turn. We're leaving it just above ground once you fill this up so that this can be hand maintenance. And the rest will be underground. <laughs> 